Alright, today I'm going to be repairing and replacing steps for a deck. And as you can see here, these steps are in really bad shape. They're really warped, really weathered, and they are actually pretty dangerous. So we're going to be replacing these. So the steps right now are made of three 2x4s that are 4 foot wide. We're actually going to replace the 2x4s with 2x6s. And with the 2x6s, I'm only going to have to use two boards for each step. And it's also going to be stronger. So our first step is going to be removing all the screws. You're going to have some situations where the screws might be stripped and you're not able to remove them. So you may have to use a pry bar and some brute force to get a board removed. Another common thing that can happen is your stair stringer might end up being damaged. Right here the top of it is cracked in half and I'll show you how to repair that shortly. On the opposite side the stair stringer actually came all the way loose when I took the boards off. So I'm going to have to reinforce that and I'm going to use a 2x4 to reinforce the center of this. So we're going to add a 2x4 in between the two stair stringers here and then tie it in with the stair stringers. So we're going to secure it to the porch itself using multiple screws all the way across the front of the porch here. Then we're going to secure the stringer to the board we just put up. So we're going to run some screws in sideways. Now on the opposite side I don't have room to do the same thing. So I'm going to have to toenail into my stringer like this. Now I'm also going to toenail the bottom of my stringer to the porch on both sides. Now it's time to repair the broken stair stringer. So depending on the size of the break, you're either going to want to mount the board horizontal like this, or if it's a larger break, you're going to want to mount it vertical like this. And you're going to want to use a minimum of four screws to mend this back together. And I have the crack centered right between all the screws. So now i got all my boards removed, so it's time to go ahead and put on my new stairs. So I'm going to be using two 2x6s for each step. I'm going to make my necessary measurement here. It's going to be about four foot, so I'm going to use an eight foot board and cut it exactly in half. And I have five steps, so I'm going to go ahead and cut ten of these the exact same length. So we're going to start with installing the top board on the stairs first. We're going to secure it on both ends using two screws on each end. Plus I'm going to secure it to that middle 2x4 that we installed earlier. So before we go any further, we're going to want to make sure that the stair stringers are square with each other on top and bottom. So what you want to do is make a measurement on the top, the distance between the stair stringers, and a measurement on the bottom, the distance between, and make sure it's the exact same width. Once you have the exact same width, top and bottom, it's time to go ahead and install a board at the very bottom. Now we're going to make sure the steps are level with each other, top and bottom. So your top step needs to match what your porch already is. Your bottom step needs to match your top step though. In this case, my bottom step is severely off. One side needs to be elevated about an inch and a half. So I'm going to use a shim here that's going to go between the stair stringer and the paver and I'm going to secure that with screws. Okay, now we got everything square and level, so it's time to put on the rest of our steps. And a trick you can do to keep all your stairs straight with each other is to use a straight edge. Once you have the first two boards in place, you can put a straight edge on them and keep everything else exactly straight with those. And make sure you have at least two screws on the end of each board to secure it firmly. Okay, here's a look at it. It's all done now. We got some nice fresh stairs. They're sturdy and safe again. Well, this is CLS All-in-One. If you want to hear more from me, please like and subscribe.